Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you some best practices in setting up global variables in a new project. It's not good to rely on the state of any variable when a project is initialized. So we're going to create a translator to initialize the variables and then create two ways of executing the translator. The first way will be to execute the set global variable translator at project open. The second way will be to create an event that can execute the same translator. In both cases here, I will use an init timer to actually initialize the variables. I will set up two translators that start the init timer, again at the project open and in this example when I hit an escape key on my keyboard. However, if you are using the project with Bonebox, you may want to set it up as an incoming MIDI event instead, since Bonebox does not have a keyboard, hence will not work with the escape key. So let's get started. First of all, I open a new project and I'm going to create a preset called init. Within that preset, we'll set up our translator. The first translator is going to happen or handle when project is opened. So the incoming trigger will have to change. And we will set that up as the incoming trigger. Disable enable processing and project file is open. And then what do we want to do with it? Uh, we will create a timer or initiate a timer. And we will call it init. We'll give it a one second delay or 100 milliseconds. Give the project time to open when you start it. Now I'll create another translator and uh, this one will actually take the uh, init on the input. It's going to take that timer so it'll get kicked off by the incoming timer of init. And we're going to create a couple rules here. And so this is where we set up all of our global variables. And I'm going to just set up a few variables here as a demonstration. This is really good practice because it also documents all the global variables that you're using within your project. You can go there anytime and just see what you're using and what you're using it for. And you can use the comments to explain what you're using them for. And I'm just using the double slash as a comment here. So there's actually no outgoing action for that particular action. All it's doing is doing variables. Now let's uh, set up another way if we want to restart the project. Uh, we'll set it up to restart with the escape key. So keystroke and then the escape key. And what do I want to do with it? I want to start a timer, same as I did with project open. This time I'll give it no delay because the project's open. There should be no reason to delay or have anything else happen. And that's pretty much it. Now I'll just reorganize this a little bit. So I'm going to just move it up if I can figure out how to do it here. Move, control up. And so there's the, the basic initializ initialization of the project. Um, uh, one thing to note is you do you should probably create your input and output ports in this. So I just set up virtual in one and virtual out one, and then I'll just create a, a generic working preset because what we're going to do with this after we're done is we're going to save this file as a template. That way, later on when you want to use it, uh, you can just pull this up and you don't have to create this whole setup again. You've just got it already set up as a template. Uh, so now the only other thing I really need to do is save it. So, uh, and then, oh, let's test it first before we save it. So here you see I hit the escape key and there you go. The two uh, variables I set up are there. And then finally, uh, what we need to do is save it and we'll save it as a template. I'll just call it something like uh, my template. Very creative, huh? And so that pretty much does it. And, uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, video, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach us at www.bone.com.